Hello traders, uh, today is the 4th of uh, April 2010 and happy Easter to you all and this is the second part of how to train the forex market like a pro okay because a lot of new traders come into the forex market without knowing what's going on and they lose a lot of money okay and um, I think if you are new into trading in my view, it's better to trade stocks, okay, because the currency market uh, is a lot of uh, fundamentals, okay, the economies, okay, there are also government intervention in, this, in the currency market, and you need to be very, very uh, educated in uh, knowing exactly what's going on regarding interest rate decisions, okay, the inflation, okay, employment data affecting uh, did all this more than any other currency, uh, any other tradable uh, security, okay? So if you are very new into trading, better start with um, currents, uh, with uh, uh, stocks, okay? And then after you, you have a, a lot of knowledge on the currency matters, you come back to the currency. Even though you can make faster money with the currency, that's the good thing about the currency, they can move... Uh, 200 points in a day or even 150 very fast compared to the stock the stock sometimes they are very slow apart from the major stock like uh, uh, apple or rim or i mean the indices also okay myself when i started first i started trading not the stock i like the indices which a lot of people consider very dangerous but there's nothing dangerous regarding the indices the only thing that they move fast and uh, every day you, you can guarantee huge volume okay because a lot of people are watching the indices okay if you don't know the indices are the indices are the first 300 okay the dax okay the s p 500 okay the nasdaq those are the indices and also the cac 40 the french one okay if you like french cuisine okay you may trade also the cac 40 lovely indices. okay now in this second part of this video, I want to show you something very uh, interesting now, okay? In the first part, I said to you, the three major currencies that the professional are constantly watching, okay? They're watching the Euro USD, they're watching the Pound Dollar, and they're watching the US Yen. They will have this screen all the time watching carefully what's going on. This is what, the, these are the major currencies, okay? A lot of liquid movement happening here you cannot mess around with these three currencies okay now in this second part i want to talk about the correlation between two currencies if you are new a lot of traders already knew that if you know this already just ignore it and move to the next video but this is good for the beginners okay because when i started first i did not know all this and i lost a lot of money so this is for people who don't know this so if you find this boring just go to another video or whatever Okay, this is the Euro USD here, and this is the USD CHF, the dollar Swiss franc currency pair. Is this one here? Okay, the Euro USD is negatively correlated to the USD Swiss franc. Okay, so when the Euro is rising, okay, the dollar Swiss franc currency will be going down. Okay, they do the opposite things. Okay. So one will be rising, another one will be going down, okay? That's why we call negative correlation between the two currencies, okay? So, sometimes it's better to know this. So if you have excellent signal on the euro for, for sell, you know straight away that you, you have also excellent signal to buy the USD uh, CHF, okay? On the other hand, if you have excellent signal on the euro usd to buy then you know that you also have excellent signal on the usd swiss franc to sell okay so it's the opposite sometimes people use this in a clever way because sometimes people are confused they don't know which currency is going to go up which currency is going, not going to go down they will buy the euro usd and also buy the us the swiss franc so they buy them in the same direction so one of your trade will fail definitely because you know that one will do the opposite but one of your trade will be excellent the best place to do that is um, during the news times okay 
but I don't trade the news. It we trade after the news, okay? A lot of people do that after just like two minutes before the news is released, they will buy the euro USD and buy also the USDC share. But be careful, one is going to be a loser and one is going to be a winner. You may come only back as a break even, even lose money sometimes. But people are doing it. But you have to study how you do it. The best thing to do is to place a limit order instead of going directly into the trade. But that's not the subject here. Just, this video is to show you that these two currencies are going in the opposite direction. Okay. So if you have a very excellent signal like a double top magic, uh, magic course and price break below the exponential moving away 50, okay, double top mark the cross trend is broken and price causes below the exponential moving at 50 on the euro usd you know that that's a sell signal okay it's a valid sell signal which is excellent signal for selling then you have to buy also straight away the usdc shelf okay then you make double money okay but the things about making double money be aware that anytime you you open a multiple position you you are also increasing your risk because people are so focused on the profit okay so if you want to take your broker's money don't be also angry when the broker also take your money it works both ways so you want to take a lot of money from your broker so be prepared that your broker also take your money so if the price suddenly turn around and you lost double don't blame anybody just know that that's the part of the game if you went to your direction you have won and your broker will lose isn't it so be aware of that so when you take a multiple position especially when you trade in currency be aware of multiple positions some days i'm i'm just trading the euro the whole day okay just trading the euro you yes, see a lot of liquid there i'm just trading the euro you this the whole day i don't trade any other currency and your loss will be less okay so the trick is to set yourself a target for the day okay you set yourself a target today i want to make 100 pip okay so if you say you want to make 100 pip after you achieve that 100 pip just walk away walk away because what is the only game you allow when you are winning to go away there are some games you have to remain till the whole game is finished but in the trading you can walk away anytime if you win big you can just walk away and no bro your broker will not run after you and say oh the game is not over yet come back let's play maybe you lose later no you can walk away so you can decide and set yourself a target for the month how many pips you want to make in the month 2000 pips 500 pips okay give yourself easy target so if you start with easy target you achieve it okay so i hope you learn something from this correlation between the euro usd and the usdc chef okay i hope i have a bit more of time to show you more thing before this video runs out in this uh, uh, screen here we have here the usd cad which is the dollar canadian dollar the US dollar against the Canadian dollar. This is the one I have here. If you follow my cursor, cursor here, and here I have the Euro USD. A lot of people call the USD dollar, the USD dollar, Canadian dollar pair as a loony because they think that is doing his own thing all the time. This currency pair, but that's not true. This currency, the US dollar, Canadian dollar pair, is also negatively correlated to the Euro USD, as you can see. When the Canadian when the U.S. dollar Canadian dollar is falling, you see the euro on the other hand was rising. Okay, but people always say that the loony is on his own doing his own thing. No, it's not. There's no currency. I can tell you that there's no currency moving on their own. The leader in the market is the euro USD. Okay, so when the euro USD is doing something else, it will definitely affect the loony. There's no economy in this world that is on an island somewhere, isolated, okay? And when something else is happening in the whole world, that currency doesn't affect it. That's not true, okay? So I'll invite you to the next part of this video, the third part of this video, to follow this debate, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, enjoy yourself and be happy. Thank you.